所以博士，您来看哦，到了二零二二年，包含科学界目前研究的进度，我们可以怎么样展望二零二二年？这个病毒真的就是完全不会造成威胁了吗 ？I I think I think we'll see continuing progress on drug development. You know, we have now three small molecule drugs. We have a、uh, antibodies from at least three companies already approved.、Uh, Authorized for emergency use, and and multiple vaccines, and I think we need to move to next generation drug and vaccine development, and that's already in the works. And so the situation will only improve, and 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 we we just need to buy time、uh, for science to to take its course. 是，所以博士不断地提到了 next generation， 就是在下一个世代、次世代的疫苗的研发，现在科学界正在进行的。那也有另外一个说法，就是以我们现在目前有的疫苗，我们来打第三剂的加强针。其实，在美国现在就是打第三剂的加强针，但这两个好像是变成不同的策略。一个就是现有的疫苗，我们再多打加强针，或每年都打几剂。那另外一个就是我们再开发更好的次世代的疫苗。不是您，您可以带我们稍微了解一下，这两个策略跟跟这两个不同的方法，到底有没有哪一个比较好，或者是科学界现在比较着重在哪个方面？那对未来我们面对这个病毒的时候，是不是会让我们有一个可能有不一样的一个状况又会出现 ？I think based on the studies that that the scientific community has performed, it's pretty clear we have to do both. We have to make sure、uh, we apply the Current vaccine, the best we can, and that is we already know that there is waning of antibody responses following even the best vaccines.、Uh, after six months, the the antibody levels, particularly the neutralizing antibodies, zhong he kang ti, are are rather low,、uh, and so and and that is associated with a decrease in vaccine protection. And when you boost, the antibody levels are restored, and vaccine efficacy increases once again. And so,、uh, so it it really、uh, argues for、uh, booster shots for a lot of people, particularly those who are elderly and at high risk.、Uh, and also, if if the Taiwan population has received largely、uh, Astra, AstraZeneca and Galdwan vaccines. Then and and should the mRNA vaccines from Pfizer and Moderna become available,、uh, they should be used to boost.、Uh, I think it's pretty clear that one will get a a very robust antibody response,、um, and and that would、uh, increase the level of protection. I think unless Taiwan vaccinate widely with good vaccine.、Uh, It, it's very difficult to reopen. 所以博士，在你的意见来说，因为在台湾有一个说法是第三季的加强针，主要是针对高风险，或您刚才也特别提到是年龄比较大的这些民众。不过就您的专业的看法，会觉得说，其实第三季不只是针对他们，对于每一个民众来说，其实都还是有它的必要性嘛。Yes, based on our studies, I think、uh, the decline in antibody and decline in protection occurs in everybody. Of course, those who are younger and healthier、uh, could be infected, but they don't go to the hospital or die at the high rate. So the priority certainly should be given to the seniors and to、uh, people with underlying conditions. But in the in the long run, I think if we're going to control this,、uh, the booster shot、uh, should be more widely administered. Of course,、uh, that is if the supply is there. But I know the supply is. Is increasing very, very rapidly, and there should be enough good vaccines、uh, for for the whole world、uh, throughout next year. For the whole world, for the next year, 这真的是一个非常好的目标，在明年大家可以来期待的。那在台湾，我们除了讨论呃第三季之外，现在大家讨论非常多的就是混打。我们都知道，博士您过去在研究这个 S 病毒的时候，讲这个鸡尾酒疗法，其实它就是混合性的。那这一次呢，针对 COVID-19 这样的病毒，您怎么样来看混打？在台湾这上面的讨论也很多，好像很多研究数据也证实说，确实混打的保护力又更好一些。那再者，为什么混打
打都是 A G， 要打第一剂 m R N 要做第二剂呢？它的道理是什么？ I think mixing and matching is already accepted in the U.S. and it's authorized by the FDA.、Uh, so a lot of mixing and matching of vaccines is already taking place. I know that Taiwan hasn't gotten there yet, but in terms of Taiwan's population receiving a lot of AZ vaccine, we I've said earlier its antibody responses are poor compared to the mRNA vaccines. So. I would urge those, particularly those in the high risk group or in in, in the、uh, elderly population, to get boosted with one of the mRNA vaccines. I know Taiwan has received Moderna vaccine and Pfizer vaccine has been purchased through private entities, and so that's going to be available. The our immune system doesn't really care how you deliver the product. Uh, to the to the immune cells, right? So the mRNA or the J and J AstraZeneca vaccine, they're just different delivery vehicles. But the product that is shown to the immune system is essentially the same. So there's really no huge problem with mixing and matching at all, and、uh, all the experimental data、uh, support that. 那我们一般都理解是 A Z 要先做第一剂的施打，然后再打。mRNA 做第二剂的施打是最好的保护效果吗？会造成像这样的结果，主要的原因是什么呢 ？The the AZ shot by itself、um, does not induce a very good response,、uh, and even when you give the booster,、uh, we have studied a lot of such cases, and they are clearly not as good as the Moderna Pfizer. So if somebody got an AZ,、uh, we would we would Ask them to get a Moderna or Pfizer shot,、um, and and maybe even two.、Um, uh, we we have no experience、uh, with the Gaudian、uh, vaccine, of course, here in the U.S.、Uh, but uh, uh, even those who receive Johnson and Johnson vaccine,、uh, which I guess is not used much in Taiwan,、uh, we would advise、uh, many of them to get the mR mRNA. Uh, boost as well. So, Joe 博士，你目前在研究室看到出来的数据哦，就还是以 mRNA 的保护力看起来是最强的。所以 ，even 你打了 AZ， 即使打了两剂，还是会建议可以的话，在补打这第三剂加强的时候，是选择 mRNA 这样子的不同的疫苗哦。那一方面，我们现在比较多的讨论是在疫苗部分呢、哦，主要是帮助我们预防重症或是预防这个死亡率。那另外一个讨论点会变成说，如果我们真的已经是确诊的状况，我们怎么样有药物来做治疗？这方面。的研究，这现在国际上已经有一些药厂是已经有研究开发出来的新药。不我们知道，其实去年不是您的团队也有开发出、研究出这个有九个抗新冠病毒抗体，也授权给台湾的一家中誉公司要来做合作。但后续可能是他们在计算开发的时间呐、啊，要要经过了很多的过程呐、啊，那还有投入的一些资本，最后认为可能放在商业机转上面会会没有商机。啊，好像这个计划现在是已经停止了，所以也想要了解一下，在新药开发过程当中，其实一般会碰到最大的困难跟挑战是什么？那目前这个部分的研发进度又到了什么样的一个阶段呢 ？Yes,、uh, I mentioned earlier that、uh, working on monoclonal antibodies against、uh, COVID is our major area of research, and、uh, we develop. A bunch of them in early 2020, and we develop additional ones、uh, this year.、Uh, one of the earlier ones uh, was uh, licensed from Columbia to Zhongyu, and and they put it into development. However,、uh, from a from many perspective,、uh, Zhongyu was a late comer compared to U.S. companies. Um, and 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 so there's a pretty a tough competition from companies such as Lilly, Regeneron, and、uh, GlaxoSmithKline、uh, in the U.S.、Uh, but I think the biggest concern for Zhongyu was how to do the uh, development uh, in a in in a competitive way、uh, because. 
more and more the good treatments are available. So can you actually do a study comparing your antibody with placebo? Because uh, asking people to take placebo when there are already proven drugs uh, and antibodies available is, uh, is an ethical challenge. In addition, uh, if you don't have placebo, then you have to uh, compare your drug with a proven drug. And that automatically says it's going to be hard and it's going to require a lot more patience. Uh, it's going to require a longer timeline and increased costs. And in the midst of uh, a shrinking market, because vaccines are now being rolled out in such huge numbers. And then we don't know what variants, uh, new variants will emerge to confound the situation. So it's, it's a business decision. So Zongyi then uh, relinquished the program and invested in another company called Rembio. In, it's a biotech in the US. And that product is now uh, made uh, under uh, good manufacturing uh, practices and is entering uh, uh, phase one clinical trial next year. But also that, is, that company is now going to focus on, on the niche market. That is, uh, could that antibody be delivered in a new way that will stay in the system, say for a year? Uh, and that will protect people who cannot, who do not respond to vaccines. There are uh, maybe a few percent of the population that do not respond to vaccines. They're largely patients with, uh, with other conditions on chemotherapy or other immunosuppression drugs. And, and so they don't respond to vaccines and, and an antibody like that could protect uh, such individuals. You may have heard a couple of weeks ago, uh, the former US uh, Secretary of State, Colin Powell, uh, died uh, from COVID. Uh, and he did not respond to vaccine because he has uh, cancer and uh, was on treatment. So there's a niche market for that. But I think in terms of what we're doing now is we're seeing if we could develop uh, antibody and vaccines that would cover all of these viruses. Uh, COVID, SARS-1, and the animal viruses that uh, exist in the, in, uh, in the wild and may someday come to uh, infect us. We have to assume that coronaviruses will come again. We already seen three such uh, outbreaks in 20 years. Surely more will come. And we have to have uh, vaccines that act broader on this family of viruses. So this is the so-called first-generation vaccine, right? Right. Okay.